Hello everyone. My name is Aastha and today we are going to learn about some homophones. What are homophones actually? Now as the word says homophones which means actually the words which have similar sounds. Yes. Now these words often become a very common source of confusion especially while writing reason being they are pronounced identically. Now they might have different meanings. They often have different spellings as well. But still they become a source of confusion. Now let's take this example. If I say the toys are over there on the floor. Second, the wind gust blew away their papers. Third, did they say they are coming to my party? Now in all these sentences the word there is homophone and usage of there in all the three cases is entirely different so we are going to discuss homophones with some more examples so here we go 8 and 8 now a t e is actually the simple past tense of the verb to eat for example i like to eat pizza I ate an entire pizza and now I'm really full and tired. Whereas E I G H T is the number after 7 and before 9. For example, Charush is very tired. He will wake up at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now this reminds me of a very popular children's joke that goes like Why was 6 afraid of 7? because 7 8 9 i hope you got that now the next one is bear and bear now bear as an adjective means something that is not covered or not decorated for example tom likes to walk around his house in bare feet he says it's more comfortable than wearing shoes so it means he is walking without wearing any shoes or slippers whereas b e a r is a large mammal for example when you go camping you should be careful to not leave any food or anything with a scent in your tent because they can attract bears and now the next one bye bye and bye now the word b u y It's a synonym of to purchase which is opposite of sell actually. I forgot my money at home. Can you buy me lunch please? So it means you are asking someone to pay money for your lunch. The second one be why is a preposition. Now it's used to mean something next to or nearby when describing a location. It can also indicate who created something. Now for example my favorite book Sita is written by Amish Tripathi and the third one by this is i think most commonly used word or it's actually the short form of goodbye i've got to go now so bye see you on sunday the next one is sell and sell now the one which starts with c is actually a small area or a room usually in a prison now a cell can also be one of the smallest divisions of a living organism for example the prisoner spent 10 years in a cell so in that case it's a little tiny room okay and the other could be human bodies made up of lot many cells Now the cell with s means to exchange a product or service for money. For example, we would like to sell our car and buy a new one soon. So in this case you are you can actually play with the words like sell and buy. So you can replace and ask the other person to actually fit in the correct one. The next one is do do do. So D E W are those little tiny drops of water that accumulate on plants and other objects outside during the night. 
for example when i went outside early in the morning the dew on the grass made my shoes wet the second one do which is a verb this verb is used to indicate an action for example i can do anything in my life now it can also be used as an auxiliary which means as a helping verb for example what do you usually do on friday nights so i've used the verb main as main and auxiliary both and then we have d u e d u now as an adjective this is used to indicate the deadline final day something is happening or can happen it's also used to indicate when a baby will probably be born now for example these bills are passed their payment due date so that deadline has been crossed probably now this actually reminds me of uh, the soft drink company mountain dew which actually played with this homophone set and if you remember its motto was do the dew so that was an interesting one actually so here we go with the next one i i and i so i e y e the part of our body that we used to see my eyes hurt when i read i think i need a pair of glasses and the word i now this is a first person singular subject pronoun oh my god that is a big grammatical uh, definition so i is something which you use to call yourself out i love to read i love to speak i really hope you know what this word means now the third one is a y e i now that's an old fashioned way of saying yes now this reminds me of the movie pirates of the caribbean in which uh, we might have heard you know different people accepting the command by their captain and saying i i captain okay so here we go with the next one fairy and fairy so it has slight variation fairy and fairy now fairy is a mythical creature that can often do magic there is a fairy named tinkerbell in the story peter pan whereas fairy is a boat that moves passengers and vehicles across water it's used for long distances or places where there are no bridges for example the ferry in costa rica is really hot and incredibly badly organized now the next one is flower and flower now f l o u r flower is actually the powder uh, made from ground grains okay and this is the main ingredient in bread and chapatis for example Tony wanted to make a cake but he didn't have any flour so he couldn't. Now the second one flour which is commonly mispronounced as flower it's the colorful decorative part of a plant which we all love and admire. Now for example if you want to give flowers to somebody you love give them red or pink roses. And now we come on to the next one for and for so for is a preposition which is used to tell indicate person who receives something or to indicate a purpose for example we wanted to buy a chocolate cake for her birthday so that's a purpose the bakery did not have any chocolate cakes for sale okay now the word for which is actually the number after 3 and before 5 for example the beatles one of the most famous bands ever had four members george john paul and ringo okay and the next one is here and here now here is actually the verb this is the action that you do with your ears the sense is called hearing you are hearing my video right now obviously watching as well no for example i can't hear the tv can you please turn up the volume whereas the word 
H E R E here. It's an adverb. It indicates the place where you are at any moment. Can you set the boxes down over here, please? Yes, right here next to the door. And now the next one is no and no. I think this is the most commonly confused uh, word in terms of writing. Now, no to know means to have knowledge or understand something. No, the spellings K and O W. For example, Romila knows how to speak French and Spanish. Whereas N O no, this indicates a negation, something which is not true. If you don't want to have something, you say no. So we all know what's no. <laughs> For example, there is no good reason to take a leave tomorrow as I have a lot to do. And the irony is we all are at home. And the last one is night and night. So the night with the K, it represents, it means a man who is given a special honor or rank by a king or queen. And the title is usually Sir. Now, for example, one popular English legend talks about King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Whereas Knight, N-I-G-H-T, is the period from sunset to sunrise. Okay, which I think everyone admires and sleeps. I prefer to work at night since it's quieter and not as hot. I can concentrate better. So these were some interesting homophones. I hope you all enjoyed and we'll be back soon with some other interesting topics. Till then, bye-bye.